Jenny from Origami Tree and today we'll be making an origami Connie the Bunny from the Line app. So if you watch my tutorial on how to make Brown the Bear, you'll know that I'm actually not an active user of Line. However, I do have friends who use it and they love it and I love the characters. I think they're absolutely adorable. So I decided to design some origami with it. So for now it's only going to be a two-part series. Part one was Brown the Bear, which I'll leave in the video description. And this is part two, Connie the Bunny. So if you want to see me continue the series, just leave a comment below letting me know that. And if you're new to my channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. And I, uh, well, let's jump right in! <laughs> To make origami Connie the bunny, you're going to need two sheets of white paper. So one is going to be for the body, the other is going to be for the face. You also need two sheets of smaller sheets of paper. Um, this is a light pink that I'll be using for her ear and also her cheeks and her mouth. And then this is a peach color that I'll be using for her mouth. I have a pair of scissors here handy and also double-sided tape. You can use any type of adhesive that you want, a glue stick or just regular tape. And I have a ready utensil that I'll be using to draw in the features of Connie. So now that we have everything, let's get started. I'm going to start off with her body because I think that's really fun. So we're going to start off with her body. Take your sheet of paper and fold it in half. Crease it in. And then unfold. Then align the bottom side to the center crease like this. Fold that in and crease it down. Rotate and repeat the same thing at the bottom. So align the bottom side to the center just as we did on the other side like this. Now we want to unfold all the folds that we made and then fold it in half this way. Crease that in and unfold. Then we want to take this bottom side and align it to the center crease and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to rotate and do the exact same thing. Crease that in like that. So now I'm going to fold this over in half just to reinforce that center crease there and also so that it's easier for you guys to see on camera. And then take this flap over here and fold the bottom diagonally to align with the center vertical crease. So just go like this, swing it over, put your finger in here to flatten, and then do the same thing on this side. So you're going to take that, fold it diagonally to align with the vertical center crease, put your finger in here, flatten, and then push down from the right side towards the left side like this. Crease that in. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Take the bottom side and fold it diagonally to the center crease just as you did with the other side. Put your finger in here to crease it down. And same thing over here. Put that down and flatten. So now you're going to take this flap over here and fold it diagonally straight down like this. Do the exact same thing right over there. And next you're just going to flip the entire thing around. I'm going to take this bottom flap and fold it diagonally and you want to fold it past this line here. So here's a square, you want to fold it above the square, sort of above the bottom of the square. So fold it diagonally, sort of like that. You can, you know, angle it as much or as little as you want. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. So take this flap, fold it diagonally above the bottom of this large square. Crease that in. And then you want to take this flap and slip it under to lock it in and take this one slip it under and lock that in as well so now we're going to work on the hands and to make the hands i'm going to fold this diagonally as much or as little as you want i'm going to do it this much crease that in 
rotate and do the exact same thing on the other side. Next we're going to grab some double sided tape and tape down the hands because you don't want it flopping around like that. So I'm going to open it up, put a little bit of tape there. The tape is optional by the way. I just kind of like it a little bit more, um, you know, 2D and flat. But anyway, you put the tape down and bloop and bloop. There you go. So I'm gonna put her body aside and now we're going to work on her head, of course. So to make her head, you're going to take your sheet of paper and fold it in half diagonally to create a triangle. Then I'm going to fold up just a little bit. So depending on how much you fold up, that's how thick her ear is going to be. So if you want like super thick ears and a small head, you would fold up more like that. But if you want thinner ears, which I'm gonna do, you're gonna fold up just a little bit. And I would say I fold it up about half an inch, maybe a little less than half an inch, but it should look like that. And then next you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it straight up diagonally like that. And now you can fold it straight up like this so her ears are pointing like that. Or you could fold it at a slant like that and then you can get her ears sort of pointed to the side. So I'm gonna point her ears to the side like this and then do the exact same thing on this side. So you can kind of angle it however you want. I'll put it right there. And now you want to flip the entire thing over and you sort of have her face almost formed. Um, you want to take this top tip over here and fold it down as much or as little as you want. I'm going to fold it right about here. And then I'm going to work on her um, sort of I guess the side of her face where her cheeks are and fold it a little bit back. Like her face is sort of round. So I'm gonna fold it a little further back like that. And I feel like her chin is a little too sharp. So I'm gonna fold it back as well to make her face a little bit more round, like a ball. <laughs> so this is her face. And again, I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna use a little bit of tape just so that it's a little bit flatter. Again, you don't have to do this. You can also use a textbook to um, kind of put the book on top and flatten it, but I'm gonna use double-sided tape because it's faster. <laughs> this little triangle piece right here is kind of important. So I'm gonna put some tape at the back and put it down like that. So it's not completely flat, but it was flatter. It is flatter than it was. So now we have her face. And now I wanna work on the interior of her ear. So I'm gonna grab a pink sheet of paper and then also this peach color for her mouth that we'll be using later. So I'm gonna take my pair of scissors and I'm gonna lay the pink against the ear and cut maybe around this much. And I wanna cut a long strip like that. So I'm gonna lay it right underneath the face. This will sort of help me gauge the shape and how I need to cut it, or how much I need to cut it. So, like that. So I got a little rectangle here, and I'm gonna lay this rectangle on top of this rectangle so I can do two at once. And so now I'm going to round off the very top and again, I'm doing the two ears at once to save some time. You could do them separately too, like that and like that. So that's looking super cute, I think. So I'm gonna take some double-sided tape or you can use a glue stick. I like to use double-sided tape because um, it's so quick. And do the same thing with the other ear. Now we got her ears finished, so cute. I'm gonna use this leftover pink strip right here and make her cheeks. So her cheeks are completely round and instead of using a pair of scissors actually, I think I'm gonna go grab a hole puncher. So I grabbed myself a hole puncher and I think the hole puncher is just gonna make her um, cheeks a little rounder. Punch that in and punch this in. And of course you can use your pair of scissors and hand draw a circle, but I think this would be fun. There we go. And now I'm gonna work on drawing in her face. And so she has like a little angle right here like that. 
on each side. So one on this side and one on this side. And then she has a line going through. And she got weird looking eyebrows like that. That kind of curve. And she has a little nose which is um, sort of like a light pink. But I'm going to draw it with my Sharpie. And keep it white. And then she has a line right here. And then she has a big mouth. So I'm going to draw a line straight across. And just like that. So now I know where to put her cheeks in relation to the rest of her face. So I'm actually going to use a glue stick for this because it's so small, my um, double-sided tape is not going to fit. So there we go. We got one cheek over here. Put it right over there. I think that's going to be really cute. Right here. Do the exact same thing on this side. <laughs> oh my god. He's adorable. But anyway, I'm going to take this and cut out a little U shape. To the best of my ability, I'm going to try to match the bottom of her face like that. Oh, that's actually pretty good. And then I'm going to put a layer of pink right on top. So how I'm going to do that is to um, kind of lay this on right here. And then I'm going to cut the exact same shape. And so now I have two of the exact same shape. And so now I'm going to decide which one I want to put on top. So do I want that pink on top and the peach at the bottom or sort of the other way around? And I think I'm going to go for the pink at the bottom. So that means I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut off that much just a line straight across and so when you stack this on top is going to give the illusion that the pink is at the bottom and I'm going to take a little glue stick a little bit of glue and dab it at the back flip that around and place it over the pink and now take your pair of scissors and round it off to make it prettier. <laughs> and then you can take your glue stick, dab a little bit at the back, flip it around and place it right on the inside like this. And now her face is completely done and I'm going to put her face on her body <laughs> because she needs a body, right? So um, take some double sided tape or some regular tape, put that down. Flip it around and you can, um, I'm going to put her face sort of rotated to the left because I think it adds a little bit of charm. And now your origami Connie the bunny is done and you can also make an origami brown the bear. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like Connie the bunny. If you want to check out brown the bear as well, I have a tutorial for him. He's going to be in the video description, so you make sure you go click that link and learn how to make him too. As usual, if you've made something following one of my tutorials on my channel, be sure you tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Origami Tree, and I will try to retweet, regram, you know, all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for crafty fun all year round, and I will see you next time. Bye!